Ah. Oh my God, boss. That's why you have to you have to concentrate very well. Don't worry, I will I will give a little brief recap about it. So this this is like the most important part of this training. Though. I know. Ah. I know. I have explained everything I am doing here. I have even explained them already. So I'm just doing a repetition of whatever I've done. This is a bottom bar. This is also another bottom bar. This is a top bar. This is top distribution bar. We have this reinforcement here. It returns by one fourth. We did that calculation where you do four meters divided by four. It gives you one meter. So there's nothing to be confused about it. Just go back and practice exactly just what I have explained again. You are going to get it. There's nothing difficult about it. It's not difficult. This is a bottom bar. This is bottom bar. This is top distribution bar. This is a top bar. The top bar always is around where you have your internal beams. This one returns because there is no any other slab here. I have explained that. That is why it's returning back inside. The same thing here is returning back inside. But when it comes to this one, you can see there is a slab here, there's a slab here. That is why we do not have a return here. Then here we have a top bar here, internal beam. The same thing with what we have here. So this is just a brief recap about everything that I have talked about from the beginning that has to do with this slab detailing that I'm explaining now. And then I said, we are assuming a spacing of 200. Now, if that is correct, this is 2,730. We are going to subtract 230 because that is the thickness of the slab. The bar reinforcement is only spanning from here to here. It's not entering the beam. So by the time you subtract that value, we're able to get 2,500. By the time you divide 2,500 divided by 200, you are going to be having 12.5. And then I said, we cannot use 12.5. We have to approximate it to 13. That is why we have 13 Y 12, O1 at 200. And this reinforcement is a bottom bar. And this O1 is just a bar mark. If you are starting from this reinforcement, you name it number one, you name the second one number two, number three, like that. It goes in that order until you finish. So if you go down to this one now, this is a top distribution bar. Your top distribution bar is the reinforcement that is actually spanning where you have your return. Your return is from here to here now, which we got around 600, if I am not mistaken. But there is a simple way to do that calculation. All you need to do is to punch this value, which is um, 2,730. 2,730, you minus 230. Now it's going to be 2,500. So your 2,500, you are actually going to divide it <laughs> by four. This is another place that is going to be a bit tricky. Then by the time you divide it by four, <laughs> then you divide it by 300, by 300. Assuming our top distribution bar is 300 spacing. Uh, please, please, sir, can you come again? I don't understand, sir. Okay. I said, this is our top distribution bar. Yes, you sir. remember our top distribution bar, this one returns one fourth that I said. In short, this is the simplest way to understand it. It returns one fourth, Abi. Yes, sir. Aha. Uh -huh. So if you do your 2,700, 2,730, by the time you minus 230 from it, you are going to have 2,500, just like the way we did the last one. Yes, sir. By the time you have 2,500, you know, this is one fourth. 
Yes, so sir. you divide it by four. Mm. You know, this is returning one fourth now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So by the time you divide by four, what are you going to have? You are going to have 625. Okay. So when you divide 625 divided by the spacing, assuming that our spacing is 300, you are going to have 2.08, which is okay. approximately two. Okay, sir. Is it making sense? Yeah, it is making sense. All right. Now, um, what I normally do is this. I always like to put that value inside. I always like to represent it this way. This one, I'll just make this very small. Make it small. And then I'll put it here and I'll change it to two. So I have two of these reinforcement here. Now, because this pan and this pan is the same, this is also one fourth. I'll still put in that two here. This is also one fourth. I'll still put that two here. This is also one fourth because this pan is the same. I'll still yes. put that two here. Do you understand where this two, 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 two is coming from? You are quiet. It seems like you don't understand. Are you there? I have just 10 minutes. Are you there? All right. I will assume you can hear me. Um, then here now, I will type in 13 uh, for this. I'm just trying to make this more detailed. It's not like it's different from the callouts I did. It's just what I have called out outside. I'm still making it more detailed. So it's going to be much more detailed. So I have 13 of this here. Here, I also have 13 of it. So the same way I interpret this one is the same way if I want to do interpret call this one outside is also going to be the same way. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. So the way I'm detailing it in this direction is the same way I'm detailing it in this direction if I want to detail it this way. So it's just a repetition of the same thing. So here now, uh, from here to here is also one fourth. Uh, sorry, let me just finish the one that goes in this direction. Uh, time is of um, is of SS. But let me let me copy this one here. Hello, sir. I'm coming. Let me rotate this reinforcement. Okay. Yeah, I'm with you. Please, let's have one more class after this one. Uh, I'm having a meeting somewhere. That is why. Uh, okay. The only thing we can do is probably tomorrow we can brush it briefly before we go into any other one we are doing. So wh why I'm even saying is because I will not be available tomorrow. Then we'll leave it next tomorrow. Okay. The problem is I we lost that particular record. I forgot. Please always remind me because I can I can forget too. I also always want to have the recordings for my personal use as well. So I'm not happy that I lost that record as well. Uh, so you can see here now. Um, you can just count the number here, one, two, three, four times two. Four times two is eight. So here we are going to have eight of it. Eight. Y10. Uh, this bar mark is going to be O2. 
at 300 spacing top distribution bar. Hmm. Okay, then this one is going to be 13 plus 13, which is 26. Or there are people who will want to represent it this way and just put a comma, another 13. It depends on how you want to represent it. Then me, I like to put it as 26 direct. I don't know if it's making sense. So whichever way you do it, whichever way you feel is going to be more detailed. Because by the time I find myself in another, maybe in a particular consultancy, they may want me to do it their own way. You get. So the way you are representing it, that was why I was telling you about brutal structure. It does not, uh, for as long as you are not going outside the principle behind the design, you are not going outside the design itself. So it depends on how you want to represent your detailing. For as long as you are not going outside this, this is just how the detailing is like. So by the time you come for this one, this is 2,730. We are going to have 13 as well. But in this case now, this is going to be top and bottom for this cantilever, this reinforcement. You know, this reinforcement goes back inside entirely. So you are having it yes. at the top. You are also having it at the bottom. At the bottom. Is it making sense? Yes, it is. It's it covering is. it entirely. So this is going to be, uh, if I want to give this, I will say this is 26, Y12, 03, 200 spacing, T, uh, T, I can say T13 plus B13. <laughs> so it depends on how you want to, uh, I mean, I can represent my own like this. Oh. Yes, or I can, I can even just type it if I want to stress you more. I will just, if I want to stress whoever is on the site more, I'll just put it top and bottom. So you go and do the calculation yourself. <laughs> mm. uh -huh. So this is how to represent this. So like I said, we are going to go deeper. I will still come back and explain this lab uh, before we go into the next. So this is going to be more like a part one than before we go into the next structural member. And then I have not even shown you uh, the slab cross section because I need to cut a cross section where you are going to see how that cross section of this slab is going to look like. Okay, so that's the only part. But as far as I'm concerned, we have covered almost 100% of what the slab detailing entails. The only thing is just for me to, I may just come back and re explain it again, just for you to have a better understanding. But whatever I'm going to that, say that would be fine, sir. is not going to be outside whatever I have said already. It's not outside it. It's the same thing. Mm. But let me quickly explain this. I think I have one minute or two minutes more. Uh, this one, this other reinforcement here. Uh, let me quickly. That's the top bar. Good. So this one now, we'll just put the name as, uh, I'm going to leave it as this. So this is supposed to be three, yeah. Then this one now will be T, exactly. So I believe you have even gotten it, the point I'm trying to make here. So this is four, then this one here is top. So whatever reinforcement I did not put here, I'm going to explain that better in the next part. But this is the major thing here. And why this one is like this, because I'm also going to have 
exactly what I have here, exactly here also. So here also, I'm going to put in this value to be 13 of this year, also another 13 of this year. So this is the way to interpret this. But you know, I did not detail this once, Abi. Uh -huh. So yeah. it's the same principle, it's the same principle. Here also, when you come to around your staircase, you are going to do it like the one that is here. So it's going to return, it's not going to enter the staircase. This staircase area, all this reinforcement that returns here is also going to return. When it comes to around here, it will be returning back, return back, return back. It will enter the staircase. <laughs> Do you understand? I'm trying to. Uh -huh. No, just go through the detailed drawing I sent to you. In short, that's part of your assignment. Go through it. Okay. Study it very well. It's not outside what I'm explaining right now. Rock. Yeah. Yes. So that will be all for today. I just have a few seconds to end this.